on basic plyometrics, which basic plyometrics would have been hop, skip and jump in the olden days, which you do in school yards, but that's gone now. So what we have to do is, in terms of preparing the goalkeepers, as it's still virtually pre-season for a lot of goalkeepers at all levels, the importance of getting some form of power movements within a warm-up to build into what I want to see, which is first step, second step diving. So they've got to produce some dynamic movements with the feet in relation, obviously, making saves within the goal. So that you'll see the first part of practice will be designed around very, very basic hopping, producing a power movement both forwards and laterally, and producing a save. And then we'll take, I'm hoping to take that from that into the goal. And then again, we'll be involving outfield players in a realistic situation that if they have made a big save, what happens next? They might have to make a second save on an angle or straight on. So it will be, can they produce a power movement? Can they, as in the first session, can they actually give some form of balance and control when they've made that first save but it hasn't gone to safety, it's gone back in a danger area, can they actually then get the balance, stand up, and obviously terms that you'll see me probably use within the practice, can we transfer the pressure to the striker? Second session, we're going to use plyometrics to improve the GK's ability as well as the outfield to actually produce power movements, whether it's to make a save or a header. So start with guys, without a ball, your strongest foot, your right foot and your left foot should be stronger. So go as we did, there, set, all the way through contrast, go, drive, left legs, come on, drive, good, drive, good, contrast at the end, take the pressure off the knees, good, next one, go. Drive, good. Outfield doing the same exercise, good. Right foot, opposite leg, have a look. Not as stable. We are now because we've been practicing, good. Drive, good. Go lads. Excellent. Good, improvement. Good, contrast. Now we're gonna go laterally. We're gonna produce a power movement going laterally. Can we get the same spring? Go. Good, good. Well done, outfield as well. Good. Contrast at the end. Good. Next one, go. This can be done with kids all sorts of ages. We don't do this anymore in the playground. Stop, done there. Good. Good. And relax. Go, lads. Last one. Good. 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 Well done. Yeah, you will be awkward. Okay. Right, guys, you ready? Produce your power movement coming over the top. Go, yes Callum. One, two, three, four. Big dive to that way, good, well done. Ollie, you're on. Get him working, whichever way, Dan. One, go. Oh, next one. You're on him. Make him go to his right. Go to his right, good, go to his right, good. Good, next one, go. Good, push, 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 push. There we go. Oh, next one, done. Good, good, good. Okay, outfield relax, keepers, come to the end, Ollie. I want you to make him produce a big say left. So can we get a one step movement? But what I want you to do now is come this way. So Dan's gonna go that way, Dan. So now we've got a lateral movement. Which is produce a movement for at the end. You're gonna dive to your right, you'll dive to your left. Go! Push, 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 yes! Good, well done. Change over. Go! Yep, 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 and push. And relax, well done. In the goal. Good, go on, work them. When I show go, I'm gonna make you a one step movement. Go, one step movement. There we go, there's the first save. So going from there, can he produce a one step power movement into there? Yeah? If we haven't got, so again, coaches, you mightn't have all this help. How would you do the session? Wait for my call. Oh, there's the one step. Good, well done, good. Now. What do you think we're going to ask them, lads? Now you've been watching out to be goalkeeper. What do you think we're going to ask them is that when they've made the save 
You're the guy going on the outside. You're the guy going on the outside without a ball. Once they've given you the ball on the save, what do you think you've got to do? Once you've made the save there, where do we want you next? Back where? Yeah. From a coaching perspective, looking down the line at the camera, if you allow your hands to go there, where do you think the ball might end up? So I want you now with the camera perfectly placed where it is, is you can actually see it. I want your hands right in front. Where were we looking on the first exercise we did? Back of the ball. Back of the ball. Yep. Big oh, Callum, didn't you get them four balls? Callum, come on. You ready? Volleys to start, focus. Yes! Terrific. Change again. I think we've got Callum blown a bit now. Good. So again, what else could we do to progress the session? I'm going to ask him to do now. We're going to extend him a bit now, Dan. All right. One step. Good. Oh, what a save, Ollie. Yeah. Go. Good. Yeah. Get the save. Back in line. Terrific. Yep. Yes. In line. Find me. Good. And relax. Keep us get a breather. Good, good. Stay in the middle of the box. You have one foot between the, the red and the white. That's perfect. Right, so progression now. We've done one step dive. Now we're gonna see, can we reproduce a two step dive? Off we go, volley. Go on, Ollie. Right, two steps. Good, find him with the ball. Left, one, two, brilliant. Now, Callum, if you actually go too low, are you going to make that? You're going to have to have some spring to get there. So again, the balance is important. Your speed of movement. Take your plyometrics. Where's your push going to come from? What you start with. Push, drive. Here we go. Left. Good. Find your man. Back in line. Good. Go. Right. Big save. Oh, loving that. Find your man. Go. Right and left. Right and left. Right, he's got to get through the middle. Go on, get up. Oh, cruel. Academy manager, cruel. Change. In you go, Ollie. Again, we're looking at progressions. What could we have? I'll suggest one, and you can come back to me again. I might go low, I might go high. At the moment, it's one save only. Off you go, Callum. Right, big save. Good boy. Great shape. Left. Oh, wow. Oh, you. Oh, you must owe the academy manager some money here. Best yep. Right, can you? Big save. Oh, look at that. Terrific. So good power, strong hand. So we're looking at, again, technique, Ollie. Strong wrist, strong hands. Left, strong wrist. Well done. Good. Yep. Left and right. Yep. Can you? Travel, can you? Yes. And breather. Well done. Okay, strikers, you're on the outside. Last progression. So far, where have you parried most of them? Safe areas, good. If you parry there, you've got no second save, have you? But in a game, occasionally the ball's going to pop out and it's going to go back that way. So all the work you've done in terms of being best prepared, we're going to see on the second save. Ready? When I bounce the ball, you're going to work. We are next. Yes, play. Good. Touch. Hit. Brilliant. Well done. Not your strongest foot, but you work the keeper. You'll do for me. Good, next one, yes, play. Oh, loving that, well done, Paul. Yeah, there's the one, it's popped out, what's gonna happen, stand up. Nice, let's have that one, Callum.
Yes! Oh, might have done enough. Next one. Yep. Oh, love it, Alan. Yes, stand up. Good. And relax. Well done. Good. Up. Yes. Touch. Hit. And relax. Now, again, what did we talk about earlier in the actual practice? If you get in here, what do we want you to do? Do you want you to hold, or are you going to try and nick another? Try and hold. So you took a little step, haven't you? Go forward now. Took a little step, all of a sudden the hand's gone behind the foot. Yeah. If you hold that, hand in front, you've got a chance. Yeah. All right? Same ball again. No pressure. Ollie. Good. Stand still. Stand still. Good. Stand. There we go. Okay, strikers, change. Can you? Good start. Yes. And look it. Good. I'm going to be very interested from an actual point of view if I'm working with outfield. Have times in the practice session when you're with your coaches to work your poorer foot. Yes, can you? Stand up. Well done. Ready, Callum. Big save. Oh, good save. Might have done enough. Nearly there. Now, can we transfer pressure to the man on the ball? That's what I'm after, Callum. Big save. Up! Can you get up? Stand up! Oh, yes! Did we get that on camera? Good lad! Did we do that before? I'm not too sure you'd have made that from before. Good. Make yourself big, transfer pressure, then your stance has to be there for the next one. Well oh, done. So if you think about your top keepers, if you are bold enough, brave enough that when that ball, playing the ball down, and he sets it, move the ball forward, what's the temptation when he moves the forward? We're tempted. If we get caught there, is that the best position to try and deal with the next shot? So the brave, the goalkeepers, I'm going to ask Dan and Paul to look after you two until we get together for the next session is, when you're in this position, are you going to be bold and say, I ain't moving? Because you can't. Can you produce that power step that you show me there from that? The only way I can go from power there is to go up that way. Very difficult to produce any sort of distance on that. All right? So try that for the last few. We're nearly there. You've been terrific. When I bounce it. Good. First movement. Nice. Outside the right foot now, you are coming on, aren't you? Ollie, well done. Unlike outfield coaches, we work on the goalkeeper finishing the session with what? A save. Here we go. We might be here till 10 o'clock now. Yes. Yeah. There's one save. Good. Oh, there's the twist. Stand up! Time! Finish. The lessons are in the sessions and you'll, you'll get this, so you just can have a look at yourselves on it. It's worth it. Is that we can all get benefit from doing that. And what we talked about as strikers, in order for the goalkeepers to get the best work, if you're clean through in a game, who should you be aiming for? Aim at the keeper. So if you come off the ball, you have got, normally you've got three yards at least either side. Eventually, when you get to the level that Dan and Paul want you to, you might have that ability to bend it. You might have that ability to come back on yourself and hit across the keeper. So one, first, first and foremost, terrific in terms of helping me work the goalkeepers. What have you picked up from just doing that first hour and 20 minutes with them? Yeah, Hold use of feet. Hold your ground. Hold your ground, yeah? When you get there, wait, 
in terms of show me your stance that you were on. Yeah, that's you being best prepared. It doesn't always work that way. So when you produce a power movement, what's your next thing you've got to do? If the ball's been moved, what's the next thing you're going to do? Get up and what? Get in line with what? The ball. It's the ball. And what you have to do, if he moves it another touch, you've got to move again. If the ball moves a foot, you might only be two inches. Get in line with the ball, and then we're going to transfer what to the strike? Pressure on the strike, yeah. Okay? Burton Albion, terrific. Well done. Thank you. I was, I was pleasantly surprised that we got the actual outfield players on board because within the plan it looked very basic. As we see within the plan, I've only put on two discs, as you saw, it was then very quickly, rather than have the outfield players, but something we will come on to is that if that had been in climate weather, would you have wanted four outfield players waiting on the side while the goalkeepers did it all? Obviously you would say no to that, you want to keep players involved. So they are quite happy, it's important for them. That is something that would have been done in playgrounds, classroom sessions, whatever in schools, they don't do that anymore. And yet that is basic in terms of movement patterns, producing power movement, so you give them, within the warm-up, the warm-up should be geared towards what you're actually going to be looking to progress to within your practical session. So it gave me a good idea of looking in terms of what the goalkeepers could do because they had to produce the lateral movement. So again, I'm looking at that session where we go into the two boxes and the two goalkeepers are working. I'd like, I'd like you to answer me, could you work, how many goalkeepers could you actually work at one time within that session? So that's your question for the podcast. I know how many I've used in the past, so I don't like to work, slight hint, I don't like to work beyond 8-10 to one coach. But as you saw there, we've got the other players involved. Then again, we ended up with realistic practice. Could they produce a one step? Could they produce a power movement? Could they produce the save in the safe areas? If it didn't go to safe areas, what happened? It was the brought in the outfield players, it would be into a danger area, so they had to very quickly, until that ball was safe, mindset the action hasn't finished yet make that second save and then a lot of the attributes we're looking for did come out in terms of staying up and the worthy um, also what i'd like you to look at is and have a look at what is your rest ratio so how are you working your goalkeepers too hard too long so i only work there on four saves per set i'd like to know if you actually work beyond that or less than that so again, another good question for the podcast, which we can discuss. But overall, I felt um, application was good again, and I felt the goalkeepers benefited from it, and they actually saw improvement, especially in terms of holding the line when the forward touches the ball out of feet. That was the most pleasing aspect.